Here's a quick tutorial on how to free up space on your iPhone. Running out of storage is a common issue, and sometimes it's frustratingly difficult to clear up space on your phone. So I'll show you a few easy things that will free up plenty of space on your phone. The most common things eating up all your storage are applications, photos and videos, and messages with big attachments. I'll walk you through a few simple things first, and then I'll show you an easy way to safely back up and clear all your photos and videos, which is the biggest storage consumer for most people. First, delete all applications you don't need or use the Offload Unused Apps option. I already have it enabled, but you'll see it here if you haven't turned it on yet. If you have messages with large attachments, those can take up a lot of space. I delete all my iMessage threads once or twice a year to clear up space. Some applications can take up a lot of space because they're holding files inside the app. My GoPro app, for example, has a bunch of videos saved. So if you have apps like this, go inside the app and delete what you don't need. These can be podcasts, photo editing apps, music apps, or anything that has files saved in it. On the bottom of the list here, you'll see iOS and system data. These are your operating system files and you can't do anything about them. They hold files that are essential for your phone to function, so you can't remove them. System data includes temporary cache files that your phone is using. Cache files are temporary, and they speed up your phone when it doesn't need to load or recreate these every time from scratch, so the total size will fluctuate. Mine was 10 gigabytes this morning, but I just restarted my phone and it dropped to 5. I wouldn't worry too much about these, but if it looks too big, try restarting your phone. Now let's take a look at a few ways to free up space by moving photos and videos to your computer. This is usually the fastest and easiest way to free up space on your iPhone. You can use the Photos app to move photos from your phone to your computer, but the problem is, your photos will only be accessible inside the Photos app, and you can't manually access, move, or share them. This is very similar to your phone's photo app, so if you're good with that, it's a good option. I like to manually control where my files go, and also manually move, share, and preview them. That's why I use Image Capture. This will allow you to pick any or all photos on your phone, choose a folder where they'll be transferred, and after copying them over, you can delete the photos and videos from your phone. Great option if you want to keep a backup of all your photos on an external hard drive. My phone is full of photos of my kids, so excuse the blur here, but I'm sure you get the point. Once you're done, just click up here and the photos will be removed from your phone. The final option, and the most convenient one, is to upgrade to iCloud Plus. This will cost you a little bit of money, but it will keep all your photos in the cloud, freeing up storage from your phone. You'll get access to your photos between all your devices, and if you ever lose your phone, your photos are safe in the cloud. The cheapest option gets you pretty far, and for me, this would fit all my photos so I'm actually about to upgrade to this soon. There you have it. One of those should help you free up space. One thing I didn't mention yet is AirDrop. It's a good way to transfer small amounts of photos and videos to your computer, but if you're trying to transfer a large amount of content, it will usually fail. For larger transfers, just plug in your phone using the charging cable and use either Photos app or Image Capture or upgrade to iCloud Plus.